This is the 40k, Warhammer 40k, sorry, I don't want to, I don't want to be presumptive and just call something by its last name when I barely even know it. Uh, Warhammer 40k Battle Sector, it is a turn-based strategy game coming to us from uh, Black Lab Games, uh, better known for their Battlestar Galactica turn-based games, or you might know Slytherin Limited, the publisher that's known for like a thousand strategy and turn-based game releases they've done that they published uh these guys just have a real hard on for strategy games um so that means the game is either going to be like amazing in terms of uh of, of style in terms of, of of features and and um uh, maybe detail and characters and all that stuff and gameplay and excitement uh or or it's going to be just you know it's going to feel kind of like a, a reskin of another game that they have right i have no idea i've never played any of the other games i play a lot of turn-based strategies but there's like you know like a million of them out there so uh, there's a lot that i haven't done now in these uh in these demos that we're uh, previewing keep in mind that the demos are even though right now it's about a month out from the actual game's release and they're gonna release in july 15th at a rate of uh at a price of 39.99 um this doesn't mean that the game is going to be the one month old version okay um this could be a version from last november but it just happens to be the demo that they have set up. Uh, I've already done the tutorial uh, for uh, for two factions, so I'm good. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we'll just do we'll just do like just normal mode. This is normal mode, right? Let me see. Uh, you will need Titus and Strength to overcome. Okay, cool. Um, that feels pretty normal to me. And then we will go and launch this. Um, right now, what we're looking at is just how does it compare? You know, like, does it have features that we want in a turn-based strategy game? Does it have, um, and this is a first Time look for me too, right? Oh, we got voiceover. There's an unexpected slowness in the aftermath of an impossible victory. A languid sweetness of air, tasted by the hapless victor. And yet, I also feel the turning of change and the accumulated minutia that falls to the survivors. Corpses to be burned, fortifications to be rebuilt, neophytes to be blooded. Regardless of our losses, we are the angels of death, and we are always prepared for war. Not that these are concerns for the fledgling Primaris right now. Balfora is an unforgiving tutor. Dante says that you are blood angels. Prove it. Show me that the blood of the great angel flows within your veins. We are the sons of Sanguinius. Whoops, my mouse is down here. All right, so the sons of Sanguinius. I think that's what he said. Um, we actually had, was was, was was just three factions here? Oh no, this is, uh, okay, so HQ, uh, Aggressors, Sergeant Carleon. Okay, so these are just basically my, my, my types here. It looks like intercessors. Intercessor, can I click on one of these and it goes to them? Sure does. Okay, so these are my we intercessor groups, die, squads, assault squad. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what I want to see. So this is great. Yeah, easy way to get around and click around and everything. That's, you know, again, like what we're doing today is not necessarily, you know, like is this game um, uh, ship ready or anything like that. We're gonna, probably going to experience some bugs and weirdness and maybe aesthetically it's not going to look uh, where it needs to be. I'll tell you right now that this already in terms of aesthetics and like mood and environment and all that uh, is a lot better than what that I had for in the tutorial, which you can see the tutorial is pretty old. Um, the tutorial seemed very plain and bland and, very, and perfectly lit, so you didn't really get any of the mood that you typically get. Oh, here we go. We got a jump pack. Okay, cool. Now, I, I don't know uh, these characters very well. Uh, let's see, plus two My movement. Do that. Awesome. Oh, sick. Can you just jump behind these dudes and just go ham? Did we just sacrifice this guy already? Oh my god, it's StarCraft, I love it. <laughs> Alright, so we're the Terran. <laughs> We're playing against the Zerg. <laughs> and this is perfect. I should be able to just fucking flame blast these guys, right? Uh, he has a pistol. Okay, well, also, we have a chainsword, though. And a chainsword. I played Space Marine. I know what this guy can do. Holy crap. Alright, awesome. Uh, he has one more action point. So we gotta take another swing just because we can. There we go. I like that the camera has full motion here. This is good, um, and also I noticed in the in the in the uh, tutorial you can zoom all the way in. So if you want to get like a fancy screenshot or something like that, can I hide everything? Can I hide the menu somehow? 
Let me see controls UI. Let's go here. Uh, that's not necessarily what I'm looking for, actually. I'm looking at the buttons and seeing what they have. This is good. You can rebind the left and right mouse right here. Okay, that's good. It's something we want. We want to be able to... Uh, when you when you play turn-based games, you play a lot of them, you know? when you're Whatever one you latch onto the hardest, that's the one that basically defines, like, the next several games that you play, right? So if you play, let's say, like, XCOM or something like that, those controls is what... That's what you expect. That's, like, the baseline you expect. And you know what? Already I'm seeing something missing. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Anyway, so let me finish what I thought. That's what you expect for the next several games, right? That's a standard. When I play Fell Seal, I have a certain expectation of what to expect from other turn-based games. Uh, and that's not necessarily because the other games are wrong. It's just because it's a game that I played and I was hooked on. And that's how my brain just reacts. You don't think about the buttons you're hitting and everything. It's a strategy game. Uh, you're thinking with your brain about the strategy, not necessarily what buttons to hit. Okay? Um, <laughs> it's like any game. Uh, so, yeah, you can rebind your left and right mouse. Good. Uh, the only thing I don't see here is a way to actually end the turn, and that's kind of a bummer. Uh, that feels like that's probably something that's just missed. I bet the final product will probably have that. Um, one thing when you play, see camera, is speed, okay, cool, full screen on ultra mode right now, so this is the best we're going to get, which is fine. So, subtitles for barks, for barks? Sure. It's probably just random, random things. We got a bunch of different languages here. Um, Anyway, so uh, uh, one thing that that uh, you know when you're done with a, with a turn, you just want to like slap that spacebar, just boom, and it does nothing. Yeah, so I have to actually click on it. God, what what year is it? I'm not gonna intern right now. I have too many action points to spend. Um, this guy is done, right? Yeah, good. There's a button to go to the next. Let me see. Can is that a key? Next unused unit. P. Wow, that's really far away. <laughs> that's really far away. Okay, unused. So let me see. We're gonna let's see. What's his re bolt rifle? Oh, lots of range on that. Let's gonna finish this guy off here. Cool, okay, so whenever they say something in between turn, I figured it was something like that, a reaction or just like a little uh, a little comment or quote. Let me see, uh, can they move through each other, I wonder? Let me see this test, oh, they have to move around. Okay, that's something, again, these are all things we want to know uh, before we go into deep with this game, like if if you could maneuver in certain ways. So I have no more, no more uh, combat points here, action points, but I have lots of movement points. So let me go ahead and move this. Um, this is try to get positioning, but not necessarily engage. So we'll go over. We'll just put them right here, actually. Moving. These guys will come around and take care of these guys. No problem. These guys will like bomb them or something later. I don't even know if that's an option here. Oh, uh, yeah, you're stuck there for now. These guys should get some distance here and then just bolt them down, right? There you go. And then one right click. So if I, if I were to basically put a lot of time into the game, I would probably. Um, Rebind all the keys. <laughs> Just rebind all of them. So let me see. If I move over here, I could right click and hold, and that'll let me aim in a certain direction. So I go like this. They can will move back and they'll turn around and they'll there we go. Um so that right there tells me that yeah, there is more than likely some kind of mechanic involving um leaving your back exposed or whatever. So these guys have different attack, a bunch of different attacks actually. So they have uh so they have a frag. Grenade launcher. Uh, they have bolt storm gauntlet, which is a very bright circle on everything. Um, oh, okay, it just happens to be right in my face. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. That's uh, oh, that's melee. Lots of melee. Okay, and it's one action point. And they have one action point. Bolt storm. Let's see. Uh, base damage two to three. This is base damage a lot. What does this do? Let me see. Uh, oh, okay, so this is range, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Anyway, so this, it's obvious we're gonna use three. We can hover over here and see. Oh, that's all you guys did? Dude. Oh, I guess, you know what? Look at their health, of course. Yeah, 25, 25, 25. There's three of them. They one-shot every one of the attack. Um, okay. Well, I can't have them leave, because look, there's an arrow pointing at me. So I'm willing to bet that there is a, um, an opportunity strike that we're going to get from these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and actually move them back and just, just to see it in action. Forward. Yeah, there it is. Zone control. Do they move up too? Okay, no. Would that be amazing if they actually follow you one? So you have to plan to move two squares? Oh, I didn't, I didn't face them the right way. GG. Oh, no, it's like actually literally G. Well, we'll make them face a different direction. <laughs> so, oh, no, no, not move. Ah, fuck. Well, well, G is supposed to do the change of direction thing, but whatever. Um, Let me see. They can't range. Oh, they can range pretty far. Is a, There's a fall off, right? Let me see. 10 per tile. That's accuracy fall off. Uh, can they attack from here? It looks stronger. Let's walk over here. Alright, is it supposed to be brighter where it's uh, more effective? Or maybe not. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, 
okay. Yeah, we got three left. Okay, so you are, uh, oh, you guys are useless now, so let's go ahead and move you back. I didn't, I didn't face the right direction again. I do think it's G, though, to face the okay. direction. Perfect. Okay, cool. So it is G. Uh, and I believe we're done. Let's see, P. Oh, that's right. I have a homie way ball. over here. What did they say? Uh, let's see the chainsword, jump pack. Oh, awesome. Whoa, these guys get some distance. Okay, hold on a second. Ah, look. So one more action point to move beyond your rate. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. It, you, if you have action points to spend, you could just spend them um, on movement if you need to. So good. Let's move out here. Oh, they fly all the way over there. Damn. Damn, that's, that's awesome. Uh, do they have a... Uh, well, it says right here that they have... Yeah, it highlights it. That's pretty nice. So cool. Automatics. Automatic, um... Hmm, hold on a second. Does it want me to move? No, I can't move, so I has to do the attack. But yeah, I like the automatic. It shows you which which attack's going to be viable here. The swarm has no right to live. Beautiful. That's good. That's good. Again, I, I, expect, I expect this thing to be pretty feature-rich in terms of just, like, general, um quality of life things you know like it's they've they've made so many games um that you figure you figure <laughs> they would be really good at it it's not always the case of course the space space to lock on to those guys that don't have to like move it around okay here we go this is approaching damn get lit up uh oh we got some more coming okay. oh we're gonna light those dudes up too Dang, look at the perfect positioning on these two, on these three guys. Wow, who would have done that? On purpose. <laughs> on freaking purpose. Oh, zone control, I totally missed these guys. No, oh, dang. Okay, we'll fast forward. Fast forward, can you fast forward? Okay, well, it's fine. We'll just come around here and just do an attack on them. Oh, I don't have the action points. Oh, oh I didn't have my turn. No, what the heck? Did I, spend, did I lose action points because I was attacked? <gasps> dang, I bet I was. I bet that's what it is. Now we have to we have to science this, guys. This is the whole point of this video. <laughs> we're not playing it to play the game. We're playing we're playing it to science out all the features and everything and learn how it plays. That's the whole point of a demo. Um, okay, so I can move in this position. It says I'm not going to take any damage. I think that's bullshit. Can I really cross and change facings? No, there's no way. Oh, whoa. Okay. So I could... Ah, uh, no. Okay. Oh, because they're facing this direction. All right. So I lose that action point? I sure did. So it cost me an action point to do that. Mm. You'll think twice before allowing somebody to have any kind of backstab uh, or opportunity play on you. Okay, so if I go over here, we'll automatically move my character and... Oh, they'll just... Okay, never mind. They can reach. <laughs> they didn't do much damage, of course, but still, they can reach. Good to know. Let's go move these guys over. Nope. Let's move these guys over here. And then we'll reposition them. Would you guys hurry up? I wish this worked. The buttons don't work? Hold on, maybe it's the, um... If I push forward one. Ah! Oh no, is that right? Okay, let's see if that works. So, let's see, these guys can move, but we're gonna leave them alone. We're gonna face them this direction here. So let's go right-click in this direction. Perfect, and they did not move. Yeah. Alright, so this guy has action points. Why don't you come over here and finish the job these guys couldn't, couldn't freaking do. Um... Their death is our get result. close enough. And then we'll one, will be light them up. Yeah, I like that the shots are actually hitting the characters, like the enemies. So this is not, it's not just um, shooting into the tile and then subtracting the damage from random characters. Like they are rolling, it looks like they're rolling the dice on each, um, yeah, you're not gonna be able to reach that, I tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're not gonna be able to, uh, it's, it's gonna roll the dice on every, it looks like it's gonna roll the dice on every single roll. On every single target. So that's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, that's useless there. Can I just walk in and just you know, throw bolts from gauntlet? Yeah, just light them up, right? No zone control. We just walk over and just start punching. There we go. Oh, and it pushes them back. Oh, is that, was that a play there? Huh. Hold on. Range, melee, not of action points. Okay. Did I have an empowered move there? These guys are stuck here, by the way, so... Um, we'll just leave him alone. Let me see. Do I have any more dudes? It's lit up, so I guess, yeah, he has an action point, but he can't do anything with it. Can he do anything with it? Let's see, overwatch. There's no dudes alive over here, so you just overwatch this direction, buddy. Alright, overwatch, go for- oh, hold on, who else is left? Oh, I forgot about these guys. Of course I did. Of course I did. Um, can you reach this? Oh. Wow. I need a hero. I need a hero to do or something. Don't know the words. <laughs> He's got to be fast. He's got to be 
He's got to have fight, and he's got to be uh, good to go all night. Uh, all right, so we got we got some bonus, some bonus enemies, some ads coming in. And, oh, they're getting lit up, of course. So these guys must have uh, they must have an automatic Overwatch ability, uh, which we see. I think uh, uh, I think XCOM has, and uh, uh, I mean, there's it's different names for every other game, but not every game has it. Where basically at the end of a turn, you can spend a last action point, or sometimes it doesn't cost an action point. I think in Gears Tactics, it doesn't cost any action points, and you can just uh, and just guard basically an area, whatever direction you're facing, which is kind of cool. I like that. Makes the game feel more, especially with uh, when you're dealing with, you know, pew pew laser beams and such. Like it makes it feel a little bit more tactical because now you're taking cover and you're actually patrolling. Like actually, like you know, out there and you're keeping an eye on things. So it's, it's good. I like it. I move over here. So the speed thing doesn't seem to work. I, I've hit the button and I've done everything. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The whole second now is a good time to test those grenades. Hmm. Maybe I can. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Damn! Oh, do I have another? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Next, uh, we're gonna re we'll definitely rebind that. If we play the full version, that that P is gonna rebound to like a mouse button or something like that. So I can just quickly scroll through. Matt, if we're doing it right now, I can't take this. Let me see. Next, next, next. Now, mm, interact, change facing at your movement mode. <gasps> okay, yeah, boy, they really gotta add all this stuff in here. I can't have hard-coded buttons in my turn base. <laughs> the P, why is it the P button? It's so far away. P for finish. Finish turn. <sighs> All right. That makes no sense. Just finish this off, let's go. Oh, okay. Is it because, wait, what? They have the low ground too. Did I just get unlucky? Where's the, where's the log? <laughs> How did I get robbed here? All right, these guys have some some some, some stuff le uh, left. No, 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 no. Oh man. Oh, cancel, cancel. Ah. Oh. So you see, I'm used to right clicking to move the camera, and so sometimes like I'll right click and I just right click to move these guys. So yeah, that was whack. Okay, well, guess what? You just lost your turn. You just lost it for us. How about you, bud? Can you um? Don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. This is gonna look sick. Are you gonna do it? Hold on. What? No, you can't. I guess you have to, I have to move him first. Yeah, move uh, over here. I told him the to rocket, rocket jump over there to be dramatic, but I guess he doesn't want the the whole Marvel superhero landing thing. Dude, is there wait? Is there one left? Is there seriously one left in here? No, there's not. Where's the three remaining? Oh, oh, these guys are still alive. Oh man, I thought you lit him up, dude. I thought you lit him up. Okay, I have. Uh, this guy has another. So we're going to, let me see if I just one right click. Can you launch from there? Oh man, why did I do that? <laughs> well, at least he got one. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're good. I should have moved him first, so dumb. I'm really good at these games, guys, I promise. All right, move over here. I mean, like overall, this is pretty, this is pretty good. You know, it feels steep at $39.99. Like I would say this is a rockin' $29.99 game. I mean, again, we don't really know what the full version is going to entail, but it does say it have uh, 20 campaigns. And if one campaign takes, you know, an hour, then hey, it's 20 hours. Gears Tactics was about like 12 to 13 hours. And I loved that game. That was such a good, uh, I guess you could say like a mainstream tactics game. <laughs> There you go. Now we done. Two remaining. Just kidding. I was kidding. There's two remaining. We're the sons I'm just tabbing Sanctuary. through here. Sanctuary. Tab just goes through everybody. Is there like a shift tab? Oops. Oh, I'm so silly. Uh, <laughs> of course there's a shift tab. Victory okay, tab doesn't do anything. Lights. It says that there's Victory two remaining. I guess they're probably off screen, I'm willing to bet. So let's end turn and see what happens. Aha! Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, got it. Oh, awesome. So they're not actually in frame yet. So good. Um, that means that they're, well, sorry, they're, they've moved, but they're still not in frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and move out uh, here. See if I can rediscover this area with this squad here because of the most forward. Oh. Well, I guess take one for the team, dudes. Oh, they are there they are. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so what is we got here? We got, uh, yeah, none of action points. Yeah, that way, no. There's, there's, this is plus. Does that mean that there's eight at 20, at 25? Plus one more? No, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight, okay. Um, okay, so we have to move some guys pretty fast. So this guy could get moving, like, pretty far, I think, right? He has two action points. Okay, yeah, he could basically get right up to the line here. Let's get him up there. Can I move somebody else while we're doing this? Oh, is it really gonna let me do this? Oh my god. Oh, I wish I'd have known this before. Oh, this is still okay. Yeah, this has already moved up a bunch of steps in my book here. Um, we're just gonna move some guys over. That's all we could do right now. Just get him some good positioning. Spend the action points. Uh, yeah, we have another squad over here of aliens of Zerg. But the Zerglings coming up. Uh, awesome. Oh, you can move them all at the same time. Even even more reason to have this. B. Ha, <laughs> this is the map, right? Like, it'd be so much better if I could use this to maneuver my my units around. I could click on them. I could hide and see. I could see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame. I just want to click and move. <laughs> Keep this camera view. Uh, so we're done. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Are these guys going to go? Oh, there's more coming. Oh, this is a long, this is a long campaign here. All right, cool. I guess, oh. Oh, oh, sneak attack. The, the exclamation mark was over there. <laughs> All right, so these guys made it up on my team here. Uh, I could have two teams on them. They, they should be able to handle them, no problem. Uh, let's go over here to where the action is, space bar. And they're going to move on on these guys. I was expected. I was expected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. Your orders. Yeah, my orders are to just, like, just start lighting up. And then, which means that you can also start lighting up. Which means you can come over here while he's doing that, and then you can start lighting up. The swarm has no right to live. These guys aren't taking like hardly any. Oh no, they're they're taking damage. We just got to chip away at them. Um, let me see. I can have him move into this space here and just beat him down with a chainsaw. That's always sexy. We should do that. Chainsaw. <laughs> Sweeping. Three. Beautiful. Good. Okay, so we'll pee over here. <laughs> yeah, we'll come on. I'm 12 years old. Uh, we'll try to get close, and they sh they have no vision behind them, so we could get close. And Oh, hold on a second. We don't want to get close to these guys. We want to... Let me see. Base accuracy. Okay. It's melee. Oh, yeah, it's melee. So, yeah, we move over here. We want to melee these guys. Let's get these guys over here. Sanguineous. Beautiful. So why these guys attack from the back first? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a little test to see how much more damage you can do from the rear. There's no combat log or anything, which is You're fine. I don't expect it to have that. Um, so let's see. If we take just a regular standard attack um, and just right click here. Holy fucking stormtroopers. Okay. Oh, it's not the same kind of squad. Hmm. Let's take these guys from attack from the side. Not quite this. Oh, intercessors, intercessors, intercessors. Okay, yeah, they're, these are the same. Uh, these guys are the ones that are not. So that's bad comparison. So here we go. Try this again. I mean, massive difference, right? Just an absolutely massive difference. Uh, attacking from the side. So good. Obviously, bonus accuracy, bonus to uh, not necessarily bonus to damage, but bonus accuracy for sure. Um, and these guys. I mean, this is going to be the end. <laughs> Just get in there, just start beating him down. There we go. Oh, no, I should have shot instead because... Ah, oh, melee. Oh, melee is so strong, though. All right, so we have no more dudes, so we're going to let these guys get one more attack in. Good to see it. Their, their attacks suck when they're facing me, too. Wow, so um, so facing really is important in this game. Like this, We're looking at... Is there more coming? Uh, we're looking at, like... Jeez, it almost looks like a 50% evasion. You know? We fight and we die. Okay, uh, so I missed the other attack, which is cool. Um, let's go ahead and finish these dudes up. So let's not attack with this this team, because that's just a waste of bullets, now that we understand this a little bit better. Um, if he moves out of this, it's going to be a problem. Let's see, if I jump, minus 200, will not provoke this one. Okay. So if I move this guy over here and then attack from the back, he'll have a much better chance. You're not gonna do it? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so used to, to right clicking or to left to left clicking to execute actions. Okay. Now they have they have the high ground.
I'll take that as a win. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. One more remaining. That's these guys over here. Uh, how about you guys? Let's do this right. Let me see. What do you have? Bolt Storm Gauntlet. Yeah, that sounds cool. Let's use that. Yeah, see, I should use that the first time. <laughs> you can fight. I'll give you that. I don't know yet if you truly are scions of Sanguinius, or just some ruse of the Arch Magos. Battle will decide. It always does. All right, let's proceed here, but we're not going to go any further than that. That's where we're going to stop with the demo. That actually might be the end of the demo. Um, if it has more, then that's pretty good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like this is probably going to be In like... The grim oh, hold on, hold on. of the far future, there is only war. People are born, they live, they suffer, and die. Rarely of natural causes. Days prior to the fall of Cadia, Dante faced his greatest challenge. High Fleet Leviathan had broken through the Krypton Shield, and the Tyranids bore directly for the sacred homeworld of the Blood Angels. Bah. Bah. I have that font, by the way. I swear to God. Sons of Sanguinius rallied from the far corners of the galaxy. Complete strangers died side by side as brothers. Yet even this unprecedented congregation could not hold back the Great Devourer. In their darkest moment, the Blood Angels gathered around Lord Commander Dante. A last stand. They gave themselves to the Red Thirst and stood in defiance of the alien. It's, it's funny, it's kind of funny seeing, like, this is clearly, like, comic book style artwork that's on this, like, faded parchment that's flapping. <laughs> like it's hanging in a castle wall or something. And tore the galaxy in two. Time stretched, contorted. Demons of corn poured across the moon of Baal Primus, tearing at Xenos and Marines alike. Havoc reigned. But just as quickly as it appeared, the Cicatrix Maledictum contracted. It this took the, with the it best way to both learn how the to demons pronounce all these things. and vast swathes of High Fleet Leviathan. In their place, the Indomitus Crusade appeared, helmed by the Avenging Sun himself, Primarch Rebute Gilliman. Rebute Gilliman. I was going to ask... The Blessed Primarch didn't just bring relief to Baal. He brought with him the Primaris Space Marines, thousands bearing the mark of the Blood Drop. The Primaris were larger, stronger, more resilient than their firstborn brethren. But to the Blood Angels, they represented a different kind of salvation. The promise of these super soldiers was of an improved gene line, more pure, and closer to that of Sanguinius. Away from prying ears, Arch Magos Call whispered that they showed fewer signs of the flaws that plagued the great angel's blood. No more thirst beating at their hearts. No more armor to be painted black. It's like the buffest dude in the Matrix. A semblance of normality has since returned to Baal. The monolithic Indomitus Crusade hmm. prepares to leave. Well, this is long. Commander Dante, now Lord Regent of half of the Imperium, works to heal his chapter and bar of the trauma suffered at the hands of Leviathan. And on the moon, Baal Secundus, Sergeant Carlion. This is a lie. To the Hold on a second. Okay, sanguine. you know what? I, okay, let's, I'm skipping. I'm sorry, only because, like, I need to know, because I'm not playing anymore. I need to know if that's the end of this. Oh, army management. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Good. Unit members, action points, movement points. Okay, add units to your army. Sweets. What do I have right now? Okay, so units under command. Can I double click and get any more access? Can I do any upgrade? Jump pack plus two. Add units to fill your fighting force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Done. Um. 
Let me see, HD Upgrade Center. Ah, here we go. So I have two points that I earned from that. And let's take a look at some of these things here. Yeah, this is this is what I was hoping for. Sorry, you know, that story, I was like, is that the end of the demo and they're trying to sell me the game? Or is that literally the, like, you know, the, the, the in Warcraft 2? <laughs> <laughs> and work ref three sure uh, hi whenever you go into a mission it's all -na 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 -na. and then the orc comes on he's all like the lions and starts saying all this shit right yeah that's what i felt like that's what it was it's like that's really long to be the introduction to the next campaign but hey there's only 20 campaigns so they might go hard like that uh here we go. let's get rid of this thing please go away go away go away go away um let me see frag grenade i uh, see intercessors okay so those are intercessors interse 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 okay uh what do we have over here command ability okay we saw the command ability for a moment i think uh we probably had an opportunity to use it there we didn't use it here's what i'll say um uh every demo needs to have a big bad like something that you're fighting against like a big you know monster or something like that uh this just had us fighting a bunch of zerglings pretty much so it didn't really feel that epic the game the features all that stuff i expected those things to be there they, if you make this many games god damn it you probably know all the right things that you had to put in for standard shit you forgot a couple buttons, but it's fine. Might be an old demo version. Uh, but still, like, you know, the demo should have a big bad. So I'm willing to bet there's probably something else coming up, which means this is a pretty massive demo. I only plan to take a look like 15 minutes per game. That's not happening with this game. Let me see. <laughs> Typhoon missiles. Uh, warning deals. Friendly, friendly fire. Uh, okay, friendly fire. That's cool. I like that. I really like that, actually. So it's uh, target surrounding tiles. Awesome. Um, damage to target in the center of the tile. Oh, I like, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's just basically splash damage, but there's core damage that does a lot more. That's crazy. Three times as much. Um, oh, more than three times as much. Actually, five times as much. That's wild. Uh, let's see. Thunder Hammer. Carleone. So that was our hero. Uh, that might be Carleone. I'm not sure. Uh, and let me see. We could upgrade those. So where can we stick this here? It's, it's flashing this guy here. Um, do I have to go down the tree? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's gonna make me go down the tiers here. One, two, one, one, two, three. So now I've unlocked these ones. I only have one more. Tactical precision unlocked. What does this do? 20% melee accuracy. Thank God! 20% range actor accuracy and plus one armor. Um, okay, cool. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I like this. I like this kind of like it's just basically just team progression, you know, not individual progression. Um so yeah, your points earned, you can you could spec into individual teams. You could go like hard this and hard or hard that, but you don't necessarily spec the individual units. You know, I like it either way. I'm fine. Well, how do I click on this? Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so let's go to the next. Can I, is he the only person that really gets upgraded? Is this the insect intercessors and Carly? I guess if we get more heroes. Oh yeah, if I get more heroes, I can spend more. Wow, it's gonna be a funky way to spend those. Uh, I mean, in a good way. You know, confirm. So we can't get those back. So if I had another hero, if I had another hero, then uh, over here in this area, so that was Sergeant Carleon. Uh, I thought I was had something clicked over here. Um, then I'll be able to spec points that I earn into those trees of each one. That's why that's selectable up there. Hey man, like I said, we're learning together, and this is pretty good. Pretty good. Let me see. I have to click on the next mission here. Units are new. Units are available. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, does want me to use a new unit? I'm guessing. I put too many of the homies here. Let me see. Get you out. You we are the blood blades of Skyfall. Get too many, sorry. Skyfall, we huh? Are the walls. We are the guns. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, totally. No, I'm I'm in. I'm down. Aggressors. Okay, done. Okay. Corporation. Battle makes these Primaris and it's gonna put me in another one. Wow. This is a pretty robust demo. So if you're a 40k person, like you should probably get in and try this yourself, and then you know get it, you know get past and click on that button for some reason to space. Um, Sergeant. But for us, we're gonna stop right here. Um, this is a different kind of campaign here. We're gonna move in. Okay, move in, occupy, kill, and then save somebody. It looks like awesome. Good. That's what we need. It plays. It plays like a strategy game. You know, like there's different types of missions, like a, like a, any kind of strategy game, right? Different types of missions. It's not all just you know, uh, chessboard, move your units around and then win. So overall, like you know, this is above average. I said, I said, you know, it's like if they put out so many games, at the very least, it has to be above average. And I'm, that's at the, that is actually the minimum right here. Definitely above average uh, for a turn-based game. So I'm definitely overall impressed. Uh, $39.99 feels like a little, little bit steep, but uh, I think $29.99 would make it an absolutely stellar 
stellar purchase um just based off the demo alone like as a turn-based fan i'd pick it up as a 40k fan you know you might pick it up too uh there is asynchronous multiplayer plan and uh and multiplayer so you can play against uh, your friends and whatnot um and there's uh and there's a release date of july 15th so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. The game is called Warhammer 40K Battle Sector. I'll see you guys later.